Hi everyone, I'm Marissa from the National Weather Service in El Paso, Texas. Today on Weather Basics, I want to talk about high and low pressure. Air pressure can tell us what kind of weather to expect. A sudden drop in air pressure usually brings stormy weather. We call this drop in pressure low pressure. Low pressure is usually represented by a red L on weather maps. At the surface, moist air comes together or converges, then rises to create stormy weather. Surface winds in the northern hemisphere blow counterclockwise around a low pressure system. A good way to remember what kind of weather low pressure creates is to remember that low pressure generally creates lousy weather, like rain, snow, and wind. A rise in air pressure means we can expect good weather. We call this rise in air pressure high pressure. High pressure is usually represented by a blue H on weather maps. In the atmosphere, dry air sinks, then diverges or separates to create nice weather. Surface winds in the northern hemisphere blow clockwise around a high pressure system. A good way to remember what kind of weather high pressure systems creates is to remember that high pressure creates happy weather that is sunny, warm, and calm. So high pressure, happy weather. A way to further investigate high and low pressure is to build a homemade barometer like we've done here and track air pressure changes in your area. Here's our homemade barometer. All you need is a piece of paper, a straw, a balloon, some rubber bands, and a glass jar. As the weather changes, so will the height of the balloon and the straw will rise and fall against the line on the card. If the air pressure rises, the balloon is pressed down and the end of the straw is pushed up. So if your straw is above the line on your card, then the air pressure is higher than on the day you made your barometer and you will have fairer weather. If the pointer is lower than the mark you made on the card, then the air pressure is lower than on the day you made your barometer and your weather will be worse. If you would like to make a homemade barometer like we did here, or for more information, head on over to the Weather Basics website linked below. Thank you for joining me today on Weather Basics, all about high and low pressure. See you next time.